good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. We're glad that we were able to stand before God's people and to read the scriptures that uh, he had uh, for us to read. And I pray that I might be a blessing to each one this morning. And those that are out there in the world listening to us, uh, Father, we pray for them that uh, they might hear uh, hear this word and they might uh, realize their condition. Uh, I pray that uh, they'll listen to the word as it's been read because uh, what I've got to say uh, could be not as soothing as uh, what God's word says and, and it's more information in God's word than what I can say. So all I'm doing this morning is trying to read his word and if the Lord wants me to say anything, I'll try to say it and be a blessing this morning. Yeah. So let's go to the Lord in just a quick word of prayer. Father, we ask your help this morning. Pray that you would strengthen our voice and help us to uh, remember the things that you've shown us this, this in this study in the name of Jesus. We do pray for all that are watching for the this church here this morning and be much in prayer for one another in Jesus' name. We do pray and thank you for all your blessings. Amen. Amen. In verse in chapter 6 of the book of Luke, in the 20th verse of chapter 6, it's the Beatitudes. <clears throat> That's where we'll start our reading this morning. And we see in in the 20 chapter chapter 6 and verse 20. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor. Now, <clears throat> this blessed, uh, he uses the word blessed, and according to all I can find out, it means happy. And he's saying, Blessed or happy be ye poor. But now listen, uh, so many people say that don't sound right because nobody don't want to be poor. But it don't say, it don't talk about uh, worldly things, but it's a spiritual poor. Mm -hmm. And this morning, uh, I know we as God's people get in a condition sometimes where that we're poor in spirit or we're not as happy in spirit as we should be. Right. And we have to come to the Lord and ask his uh, blessings and, and to and encourage our happiness, encourage our desire to serve him, encourage our our desire to uh, do the things that would be pleasing to him. So he says here, happy be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. And he is uh, he is offering them or telling them that they have got something here when he says, for yours is the kingdom of God. Amen. Of course, uh, we see here that uh, the poor in uh, man's eyes is those that are uh, in pro uh, uh, poverty and they're hungry and they're sad and these things like this but this morning we can be poor in spirit and still be the happiest people on earth because <laughs> listen we've got something to look forward to Amen. and the, the people that are not happy in spirit they have not got anything to look forward to. Right. All they got to look forward to is the comforts of this of this world and the things that uh, that other that they've got to look forward to are not very pleasant to speak about. But an eternal uh, place where that there's no spirit of God there, and it's if even if you take and clean out the, all of the the blazes and and the fire and the heat and all the other things. No, no spirit of God whatsoever. And so this morning, we've got something to be happy about this Amen. morning. And we can sit with, uh, you know, and, and say, well, I'm not happy. Well, I, I'm happy. Amen. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm glad this morning to, to know the Lord Jesus Christ and the forgiving of his, uh, the forgiveness that he has uh, given me and, and that I am one of his I'm a child of God, and I am, I am assured that I have the peace of God in my soul, and I'm able to say this morning, if I, the Lord calls me home, uh, I'm, I'm 
prepared to meet him. I'm yeah. thankful that I can say that. And it's not that I'm saying I'm I'm fixing to die or anything like that, but this is part of what we need to have every day, whether mm -hmm. sick or, or healthy or sad or mad or poor or rich, whatever. We need to have this assurance this morning. Amen. And he's saying this morning to the disciples here, blessed are in verse two or twenty-one, blessed are ye that that hunger now, for ye shall be filled and and so again, he's speaking of now and then. He's saying this morning about uh, if we're hungry, if even in in, in a, a bodily form the, and we're hurting or whatever, he's saying still you're blessed because listen, uh, blessed are ye that hunger now, or blessed are ye that hurt now, blessed are ye that serve God now, uh, before ye shall be filled. And you shall be uh, glad that you had this to go through with, because listen, this is this is getting you in a condition to be in closer to the Lord. And when right. we we can't we can't be happy all the time and be uh, uh, right. close to the Lord. We need to have these problems. We need to have uh, things going on in our life to draw us closer to the Lord, because. You know, if everything went our way and everything, uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't appreciate it, and we right. wouldn't be able to thank the Lord. So this morning, this is some of the things that I've seen in this lesson about being happy, being blessed with the Lord, because we truly this morning are blessed with the Lord, even to have a a building that we can come into mm -hmm. and we can sit on the seats of comfort and listen to <coughs> the songs and listen to God's word. And, and know that uh, one day we'll be with him in heaven. Amen. So we need to be we need to be happy this morning. And there's so many people this morning that say they're saved, but listen, you hear them wrong all the time. They're very right. happy about anything. And so we need to we need to uh, pull the bottom lip up a little bit and be more cheerful and there you go. be happy. So in verse <clears throat> verse two uh, twenty one, he says, "Blessed are ye." that hunger, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. And this weeping, uh, 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 one of the reasons why for weeping is for sorrow. Mm -hmm. But you know, there is a, a weeping that's for gladness. Amen. And uh, listen, I've had, I've had an experience with the Lord and I've had times of, in prayer that I wept. Amen. But it was because of happiness. Mm -hmm. And listen, this morning there, there there's no there's no great greater thing this morning than to weep with happiness, knowing that you're in communication with the Lord and He's answering back to you, and you've got this you've got this fellowship with the Lord. And listen, there there's a great time of weeping that. Uh, uh, so many people can't understand. Right. Uh, and and uh, I'm I'm hoping and I'm praying this morning for this word to go out into these countries where that people are hungry or people are uh, hurting, but telling them, listen, there is a better time coming. Amen. And we, they may some of them may have to to die of these things, but listen, there's a better time of coming for those people and for us too, because listen, tomorrow is another day and we don't know what's going to bring, what's going to come tomorrow, but listen, we may, we may not be as happy tomorrow and we may have to really praise the Lord and ask him to strengthen our and encourage ourselves. So in verse, in verse uh, uh, 20, uh, in, tw in verse 21 there, it says, we now for you shall laugh, and I want to, I want to read something to you this morning in Isaiah fifty five, if I can, and get over there to you. Isaiah fifty five, verse one. It says, "Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come to the waters." Now listen, mm -hmm. if you're thirsty, if you're hungry, if you're weeping, if you're in one of these conditions, here's the here's the cure for it. Come to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye by and eat. Ye come by wine 
milk without money and without price. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread right. and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good and let your soul delight itself in fatness or abundance. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear and your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. And so Amen. he is saying this morning, if we're in these <coughs> conditions, come to him. And if you're saved, listen, don't, don't get upset and say, well, he's not helping me. You go to him and you pray to him and you ask him to help you because listen, and don't, we don't, I, you know, sometimes I get kind of impatient. Listen, just wait upon the Lord. Amen. And you that have got problems, you that are, are not as happy as you want to be, listen, talk to the Lord about this situation. Amen. Hey, uh, he listens, he hears. And so many people say, oh, no, the Lord, he don't hear. Anyway, listen, he's hearing every word that you're saying to him. Amen. In a condition to pray, Jesus Christ is taking that that prayer to him and presenting it to him through the, with the blood. And so listen, he's listening to it and he's considering it. And you just take a little time and wait upon the Lord and listen, you'll hear from him. And here he says, Behold, in verse 4, Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander of the people. Behold, ye shall call a nation that thou shalt knowest not, and nation that uh, knew not thee shall run into, unto thee because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Amen. See the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon his uh, upon him while he is near. And so this is good advice to us mm -hmm. this morning uh, to call upon the Lord while he is near because uh, you know sometimes sometimes when we uh, sit on the stool and do nothing, we don't want to stick or do less and don't call upon the Lord. Right. And uh, he says, Well, I don't guess he may not need nothing or he don't want that. But the thing of it is call upon him while uh, while, while he's present. So back in our lesson now in verse uh, 6.22 Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their com company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Amen. And so here here is, here, here is something this morning that, that I remember seeing and uh, I remember Brother Larry's service, sermon last Wednesday night about hallelujah. And listen, people, it works. You can praise the Lord Amen. by saying hallelujah. And he says here in, uh, uh, in, uh, in this here, he says, praise ye the Lord, or, or praise means uh, 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 praise the Lord. And, 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 and so when you, when you're, when you're in need, when you're not like you, not what, getting what you want, call upon the Lord, and it, it is not going to, as Brother Claire said, other night, it's not going to hurt you to say hallelujah. And listen, I'm going to tell you what. Amen. You try to say it. You just, sometimes hallelujah. you get in, you, you get in a place where that, you know, no, you can't, nobody hear you, nothing like that. You try to say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And, and you'll feel something, great, brothers. And sisters, Amen. you feel something, and I'm going to tell you what it it makes a difference. And I mean, I've tried it, I've experienced it, and I know what I'm saying about it. Amen. I wouldn't tell you if I didn't. But listen, that message that Brother Larry preached the other night done me more good, and I, I understand more about Hallelujah now than I did. And uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful word to use, and you use Amen. It every time any kind of uh, opportunity you get in a sentence or anything, praise the Lord with hallelujah. So here again, I want you to say, this is verse 23, Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. 
But here is the, this is the, this is the, the good part of it. But then you look at the last three, the last three verses here, it says, woe, mm. but woe, but woe, it's a, it's woe is a time of trouble. Woe is something that you is you're going to get into or you're expecting it because it, 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 it indicates that something is not right. And listen, we have these times in our life when things are not just exactly right with us and we're wondering what's going on and all this. Listen, we need to come to the Lord and not have to hear these things. But he says in verse 24, but woe unto ye that are rich. Now that's not rich in the Lord, but that is rich in wealthy and in worldly possession. He says, uh, uh, woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. And this morning, what I, I see in this is that we're receiving a consolation or people that are lost are receiving their consolation and he's saying woe to you because that consolation that you're getting in your life while you're living here on this earth and you're not serving the Lord that consolation the end results of that is is <coughs> the the fiery pits of hell right because listen uh, if 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 we're receiving our consolation now it's got to be a worldly consolation mm -hmm. because he's he if it was a if it was a, a spiritual uh thing he wouldn't be putting woe to it and so this is something that 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 we need to think about in our life and uh don't don't get caught up in and these things in the world and and get sidetracked with them and he says verse 25 says woe unto you that are full mm -hmm. Now he said back down here, woe to you that are hungry, but it was a different hunger. Here he says, fool, for ye shall be hungry. And, and the thing of it is, I, I think he's still talking about these worldly possessions. You're full of them. And you're and you're and you're you're going to reach the the end results of that you're going to be empty and uh, and the solution is that that it's done too late for you to to uh, call upon the Lord because he said woe unto you that are full for ye shall hunger woe unto you that laugh now for ye shall mourn mm -hmm. and weep and so this morning this is a this brings on something else in our life that we need to realize that that we are we are uh, trying to serve the Lord because we don't want to weep later. We don't want to mourn later. We don't want to be in uh, trouble later. But we want to be in 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 touch with the Lord Amen. and be happy with Him and uh, all this. So He says, "Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you." And uh, mm -hmm. you know, to the world, this is a compliment. Right? Hey. I, everybody I see says says something good about you. Well, listen, you take that with a little grain of salt because right. listen, uh, it, it may be it may be that you're not really in line with God because if the world speaks well of you, there you go. Say, Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. And so here again. It's a condition that we need to be aware of. But I say in verse 27, but I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you. Now these these things that, that I have read about this morning, other people has people has caused a lot of these things to come upon you, the, the backbiting, the, the, uh, the hunger that they wouldn't feed you. Uh, and things of this nature. Listen, he says, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. Mm -hmm. And people, 
that is strictly, strictly, strictly against the flesh. Mm -hmm. And the, the idea of the flesh is, listen, he did it to me and I'm going to get him back. Right. But now that's the wrong attitude to have. Right. You need to this morning when someone falsely accuses you, someone does something else to you, you need to pray for that person. Mm -hmm. And pray for them earnestly because, listen, uh, these prayers that you're praying for them, if they don't, if they don't get them things right, they're gonna, they'll, they'll, they'll understand about those prayers later. And so he said, here, in verse twenty, bless them that curse you, and and pray for them which despitefully use you, and unto him that smiteth thee on one cheek, offer also the other. Right. And uh, you know. I, I think about this when I hear this word smite, you know, they smit that Jesus Christ, they hit him on the face and they done all these things to him. And listen, if they had have come to, if they had have made any attempt to try to uh, be sorry about those, he would have forgiven them. Right. But that's our, our problem this morning. We need to understand all about what Jesus is Jesus has put up with so much and he, he was punished and all this, but he forgave us. And listen, we, years and years ago, we inherited something that our forefathers did uh, in order to uh, uh, punish Jesus in, in a way. And he's forgiven, he's forgiven us. I don't know where if, he, if they got forgiveness, but listen, he still remembers us and loves us and forgives us because I know this morning that he's forgiven me of my sin. Amen. And I know this morning that I can talk to him and, and I hear from him and I know that he loves me and I know that I love him. And But now I don't know about my daddy or my grandpa or my great-grandpa. I don't know what kind of condition they were or whatever. But this is what he's saying here uh, about hitting them on the cheek. But he says also, and unto them which smite them on the cheek. And then in verse 20, I mean 30, Give to every man that asketh of thee. Again, we we uh, we need to have a, a, a giving heart. Mm -hmm. And if someone asks us for this, uh, and I believe it goes on to tell about uh, not expend, not expressing, or not the accepting a payment, or not uh, expecting a payment for when you give to someone. But listen. We just need to have an open heart. Mm -hmm. And the thing of it is, we don't realize who give us what we've got. Right. Uh, so many times we don't want to share. And that's the flesh for you. They want to hoard it all up. But the thing of it is, we need to put that old flesh down. So here in, in uh, <clears throat> verse 31, And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise and that that's a good practice this morning that uh, uh, we need to try to uh, cultivate is when we do something for someone we do it because that we want someone to do it for us, to us. Amen. and the thing of it is what Jesus did for us no man could do Amen. and uh, we we need to be more closer drawn to the Lord I, I'm going to read just a little bit further than I close here he says, For if you love them which love you, what thanks have you? For sinners also love those that love them. And if you do good to them which do good to you, what thanks have you? In other words, if, if someone scratches your back, it's customary to scratch their back. But what good is it? Notice this. And if you do good to them which do good to you, what thanks have you? For sinners also, sinners also do evil, the, even the same. And if you lend to them of whom you hope to receive, what thanks have you? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies Amen. and do good and lend hoping for nothing again. Amen. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and unto the evil. 
Be ye therefore merciful as your Father also is merciful. Amen. And then it goes on to talking about judging and things of this nature, which it brings on different things about us judging one another, but that's a different, a different lesson. But this morning, I wanted to read these things to you, and uh, hopefully something will, something will stick, and, and you, can, uh, you can get a blessing out of trying to do some of these things uh, for, the, for the glory of the Lord, because that's the reason you do it. You don't do it for the glory of yourself or glory of man. Because listen, when you when you when you lend to someone, give to someone, uh, you shouldn't expect it back. And if you lend right. to someone, hey, if he can pay it back, fine. If he can't, hey, that's fine too. And so this morning, I hope that something will be said or done that will uh, uh, read that will help you in some way or another. And I'm sorry that uh, in our talk, but anyway, uh, we'll have to close our lesson off and uh, ask you to. Uh, to forgive us for that. So we want to ask the Lord to, to bless. Our Father, again, we give you honor and glory for all things. And we thank you, Lord, for <laughs> this prayer that you have. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you. We just pray, Father, that you take this. What little we've read and what we've said. Father, that you bless it. And Father, that others would be saved, Father, through that word in Jesus' name. We praise and thank you so much for all your blessings. Amen. Amen. Amen.